one of the things that everyone likes about insects is that you know they can be spectacular, they can be um, interesting in form and so forth. Well, one of my favorite beetles is this one. This is the Harlequin beetle. It's a native to um, South America in the Neotropics, in the New World. And uh, it's a forest dwelling species. The males have these really, really long front legs. And in this group, this is a group of beetles called Cerambicidae. They are um, long, also called longhorn borers. Well, in this group, generally, male longhorn borers have much longer antennae than the females do. Males will land on these trees and they define their territory by the length of their antennae. So males with longer antennae have more territory potentially to uh, attract when a female lands there, the males can then also mate with her and uh, she has a better chance of, of having a good brood. The other cool thing about it if you look carefully, there's little pits in the elytra. That's what these wing covers are called, elytra. And there are a whole bunch of other organisms that ride around with these beetles. Little mites will ride in the pits on the, on the elytra here. And underneath the elytra, you'll find little pseudoscorpions, which are small arachnids that look something like scorpions, but they're much, much smaller. They're a couple millimeters long. And these things ride there. And so these are, these, these often are, this might be like a little, uh, jungle, the little bus in the jungle that flies around, you know, and, and, it go, and all the little inhabitants get off and when they land on the bark and, and do their thing.